Hello, welcome to the update. I'm Maham Kashani. Sweden has taken out the Eurovision Song Contest in the UK. Singer and songwriter Lorraine winning the most votes from the jury and the public, as heard on SBS. Two hundred. <gasps> the winners of Eurovision 2023. Sweden, Lorraine, twice. Standing ovation. Standing ovation for Queen Lorraine. Finland finished second, Israel came third and Australia finished ninth. A search continues for a surfer believed to have been killed by a shark at a South Australian beach. The 46-year-old was surfing at Walker's Rock Beach on the Eyre Peninsula when he was attacked. The man's surfboard has been recovered. The federal government has slammed neo-Nazi protesters who clashed with counter-protesters and police outside the Victorian parliament. Officers used pepper spray to contain the violence two men have been arrested. The number of households in New South Wales filing complaints about expensive power bills has risen in the past year. News Corp reports there's been a 50% increase compared to this time last year. The Salvation Army is reporting a 20% increase in calls for help with paying bills. Thousands of people are hitting the pavement for the Mother's Day Classic to raise money for breast cancer research. Alana Peroni has taken part in the event for the past 26 years. She lost her mum, Patricia, to breast cancer when she was eight. On Mother's Day, was always a hard day for me. So I really enjoy uh, doing something for mum on Mother's Day and, and being involved in this great community that all share the uh, same purpose. And Ukraine's president has asked the Pope to support Kiev's peace plan amid ongoing conflict with Russia. Volodymyr Zelensky made the request during a visit to Rome. In sport, the Demons have cruised past Hawthorne, winning by 54 points in their AFL showdown. The Western Bulldogs, Brisbane, Port Adelaide and Fremantle also posted wins. To NRL, the Eels have gone down to the Raiders 26-18 in Canberra. Earlier, the Cowboys beat the Dragons and the Rabbitohs down the West Tigers. And Australian tennis player Owen Davidson has died aged 79. He won 13 major doubles titles during his career. In entertainment news, Kelly Clarkson has addressed a report alleging of a toxic work culture on her daytime talk show. The singer and TV personality posting a statement on social media saying she's committed to maintaining a healthy environment on the Kelly Clarkson show. Rolling Stone says 11 current and former employees made complaints about being overworked and underpaid. And that's the latest from the Nova podcast news team, but we'll see you tomorrow morning for another episode of The Update.